the Great Wall of China, a testament to human engineering and a symbol of China's rich history. Spanning over 13,000 miles, this stone fortification wall has stood the test of time, dating back 2,200 years. But even this marvel is not immune to the forces of nature. The Great Wall's construction spans centuries and dynasties, with the earliest large-scale work credited to Emperor Qin Shi Huang in the 3rd century BC. The wall's most iconic form, however, came to be during the Ming Dynasty, featuring watchtowers, garrison stations, and a massive labor force. Despite its grandeur, large sections of the Great Wall have succumbed to time, natural forces, and human activities. Today, only about 20% of the original Ming-era wall remains. Unregulated tourism, graffiti, and repurposing of wall materials have all contributed to its degradation, prompting ongoing conservation efforts. The Great Wall, largely built using the rammed earth method, faces a constant battle against erosion. The freeze-thaw cycles of northern China can cause the compacted material to crumble, much like how potholes form on asphalt roads. But in this battle, the Great Wall has an unexpected tiny ally, biocrust. This living community of mosses, lichens, algae, bacteria and fungi forms a protective barrier against the destructive forces of wind and rain, helping to preserve the ancient structure. Biocrust forms a complex network that binds soil particles, creating a protective layer. This living barrier helps retain moisture and prevents the aggregate mixture from drying and crumbling, offering a new hope for the preservation of the Great Wall. The Great Wall of China, built with rammed earth and stone, creates a perfect habitat for life-forming biocrusts, like moss and lichen. These organisms not only retain moisture, preventing the structure from drying and crumbling, but also secrete polymer-like substances acting as natural binders. As scientist Bo Xiao explains, these substances form a cohesive, mechanically strong network, safeguarding against external erosion. Scientists conducted an experiment to test the strength of biocrust. They compared biocrust-covered sections of the wall with bare sections, and the difference was remarkable. The biocrust-covered sections appeared stronger, more stable, and better protected against erosion. The transformation of the biocrust-covered sections of the Great Wall is striking. They're stronger, more durable. By safeguarding the cracks and pores, the biocrust halts water infiltration and the erosive freeze-thaw cycle. As Bo Xiao points out, these sections show a significant reduction in porosity, water holding capacity, erodibility, and salinity while enhancing their compressive strength, penetration resistance, shear strength, and aggregate stability. The discovery of biocrust has given scientists new hope for the preservation of the Great Wall of China. Despite the challenges, this tiny ally is proving to be a formidable tool in the battle against nature, helping to protect and preserve this iconic structure for generations to come. If you like this video, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and learn more about how we enhance history.